Ask Laston, episode 12, Western from Turkey. We process high volume, clear and hard coded low E class. In our process, the low E coding is run against rollers. Can we temper clear class and low E class together? So when we are tempering glass, we are putting, putting the glass to the, to the furnace and glass starts to absorb the heat. If the glass uh, has a coating in it, it, re it reflects the heating in a different way. So to the question if it's theoretically possible to temper low E and clear at the same time, if we want to gain and achieve maximum quality, then no. If you want to optimize your quality level, uh, then run same di same class type always at the same time. In this particular qu uh, question, uh, in the case, the low E class is against the rollers. Now this changes uh, a bit, especially this is a, a not very low emissivity coating. Uh, this changes this a bit, but still, in order to achieve maximum quality, run always one class class type at a time and do not mix low E and clear. Question from India. Does the tempering line equipment play any role in spontaneous breakage? So first uh, about the spontaneous breakage to some of you who may not be familiar with the phenomenon. Spontaneous breakage, also known as nickel sulfide inclusion breakage, uh, is caused by those nickel sulfide stones. Now those are residual stones that might be uh, left inside the float glass from the float process. So there can be nickel contamination, which then leaves the stone inside the float glass. Now then when the glass is tempered and a stone is there uh, in the middle of the tempered glass tension zone, then uh, and the glass is installed to a facade for example the thermal uh, load that comes from for example from the sun then increases the size of the stone and then it breaks the glass now to the actual question does the tempering on equipment play any role in that unfortunately there is no way that tempering line can affect this phenomenon only thing is that if uh, glass is not tempered but it heat strengthened then the tension is smaller and the probability for nickel sulfide breakages are much smaller. 